Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Cancer, some of the cards that I pulled off camera uh, were holding back my feelings because I don't know how to express myself. I also want you to chase me. Hashtag game. So somebody's playing games or game with their emotions, with yours, you know, all together. It is just a game, you know. Um, this person could be out of touch with reality. They're addicted to social media. Now, if they're not addicted to social media, then they're just addicted to attention, uh, attention seeker. They need it. They need the spotlight on them. This is somebody who is kind of like piss poor morally or has low self-esteem, um, insecurities, extreme insecurities. They'll, they'll do anything for, for follows or followers, likes, subscribes and shares they're just out of touch with reality we've got 23 coming up a highly fortunate number royal star of the lion it ensures success assistance and support from the higher ups your person is protected or this person or you you are protected you could be born on the 23rd of june i think that gives you for the, the start of cancer right yeah um Okay, very nice. So, you know, it ensures success. You are protected, okay? Some of you could be dealing with or liking to deal with sex workers, OnlyFans, exotic dancers, escort, prostitution, porn, pay for play. So some of you could be into that. Some of you are dealing with someone who does that. There's no judgment here. Um, it's just coming up in the cards. Maybe it is significant in the relationship somehow. All right, so let's start to clarify holding back my feelings because I don't know how to express myself. Is this cancer? Is this, is this their person? Okay. It might be cancer. The high priest is coming up. All right. So someone is definitely holding back their emotions. They don't know how to express themselves. They're also playing a game, you know, um, it could be you, it could be someone else. It could be that you and your person are holding back. Yeah. Someone really wants the opportunity for growth, prosperity, wealth, you know, with you, or you with them, but you know, it, they don't know any other way to express themselves outside of playing games. So that might be an immaturity uh, factor here. Someone needs to mature. Okay. Let's see if the cards want to give us anything else for playing games here. Yeah. Eight of Wands. Yeah. Someone, you know, communicates, they put out the fillers. They're obsessed with you. There may be, there could be even a level of infatuation, obsession, law of attraction. It's like somebody wants to say something to you to declare their intentions. Let something come to a conclusion, separation come to a conclusion, a close, but they are playing games here. They may also be talking to other people, keeping different energies around so it can keep them distracted from the person that they really love or like. Let's see, addicted to social media. Somebody could be showing up in someone's dream space also trying to manifest them to come to them because we did see that this person wants you to chase them. Okay, addicted to social media or just addicted to attention altogether. Could be you, Cancer. Could be someone you're dealing with. Someone will do anything for follows, likes, subscri uh, subscribers, and shares. Let's see. Yeah, somebody put something out. Three of Wands. It could be you, Cancer. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Queen of Cups. It's like somebody's addicted to that. So this is when you put something out and you wait for the feedback or you wait for something to come back. So I don't know, it's like posting something, putting something out, saying something, you know, shock value, uh, waiting to stir someone's emotions. Someone feels like they're a gift to the world or they have something to give to the world. There's a layered type of energy or a personality here. Um, you don't know who you're going to get. The Queen of Cups, she is practicing emotional stability by way of not really taking on any other emotions. She's a good listener, maybe gives good advice. It's because her cup is closed. Like you can't feel her with anything. She can't feel anything or she's not in the energy of doing so because it will, it will cause her to become, you know, destabilized or unstable. So she... You really can't pour into her cup. Some people would say that she's a bit aloof. You know, she does her own thing. She's not as tapped into her own emotions. But she's tapped into other people's. There's somebody here who's putting some stuff out. 
into the world. This can even be magic. Yeah, uh, four of pentacles. This person is definitely closed off emotionally. They just like attention. Very insecure. May have some childhood trauma. This could be cancer. Somebody just loves the attention showboat. Likes to just show off. Negative. Even if the attention is negative, they'll take it. Something about just needing the attention here. Clinging to toxicity also. All right, so we have the 23 highly fortunate number, the royal star of the lion. Okay, so it ensures success, assistance, and support. Um, some of you could be born on June 23rd or something will happen around the 23rd of June or uh, July or Something of that nature. Let's see. Highly fortunate number 23. What's happening? So some change is definitely going to happen. Okay. Because two and three equals five. Let's see. What is going on for cancer on the 23rd? It's okay. The magician and the eight of pentacles. Very nice. So it looks like um, you say something that causes for a positive cycle. Maybe to conclude, something comes to a conclusion. Something closes. You may start your own business or you may put something out there where you start your own business. Or you go to some higher up. Or you go to your boss and you ask for a different position or you ask for a raise or you, you ask for something. Somebody sees how you've been working day in, day out, doing something over and over again. Wash, rinse, repeat. You're going to get assistance from the higher ups. Uh, you could get a raise. You get the opportunity to travel. Yeah, to travel to a wands. You could get promotion. You get to, yeah, some of you could be promoted. Yeah, the hermit, go to some, go to some organization retreat or some type of you know, seminar that offers you more skills or a different skill set. Something about changing. Definitely changing your position, changing your philosophy, changing your career. Some way of doing things is ending. Yeah, six of swords or whatever this is. It's like you're moving away from what you used to do. Moving away from maybe turbulence and chaos and this and that. And maybe a chaotic schedule. You're going to get to something that's more stable. Or you're going to do your own thing or you're going to strike out. What is sex worker, OnlyFans, exotic dancer, escort, uh, prostitution? Dana came out. Okay, so, it, but it looks like it wanted to come out in the reverse. You know, the Knight of Pentacles. So somebody wants to stop this or stop doing this. They don't want to be dedicated, devoted to this anymore. They want to stop, you know, doing that type of work. Um, the money is drying up. Could be an emperor. Emperor wants to stop putting their money into that type of uh, so it could be an older gentleman. Stop putting money into, you know, that lifestyle or those type of people, women, men. Yes, yeah, somebody wants to pause, heal from this, move on from this. They're thinking about the future. Like somebody wants to move away from this. You know, move away from this lifestyle, move away from being around these people. Yeah, wow. Nine of Wands, somebody's really looking at the past. And saying, do I stay in this or do I move away from it? Somebody's really praying for a miracle. Don't give up before the miracle actually happens. Someone is on the brink of success of moving away from maybe the toxicity. Someone just doesn't want the lifestyle anymore. One more card here. Yeah, Queen of Swords, somebody's really trying to cut out the old, this old lifestyle, go into something new, better, maybe business for themselves. Someone understands that if I want something new, I can't take the old with me. So I have to leave this and then move on. Yeah, somebody's trying to come up with a creative way to bring in more money, to do something different, to transform their life, learn something different, learn how to be different. This is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you. Are you the 23, the royal star um, of the lion? Uh, is your birthday born on the 23rd? Are you trying to come out of this type of work? Uh, sex work, you know, no judgment. Hey, whatever. Um, 
it looks like you will get some type of yes answer from the higher ups, from your boss or people who are above you. Um, you are holding back your emotions, but you're only, you know, shortchanging yourself and maybe the other person. You need to speak your mind. Um, what else do we have here? I forget this card. What is that? Oh, social media. Somebody is just completely addicted to that. Someone needs to work on their self-esteem. Self being the operative word. You give yourself what you need. Nothing else and no one else gives you that. So someone needs to work on their self-esteem. This is what I have for you, Cancer. You can get your own personal reading just like this one at the website level. You can um, also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I do a collective reading. I answer questions. Um, you can also uh, ask a question right now by texting your question to the number below. Cancer, have a really good week. Take care.